Now, the bicycle we're talking about is my wife. Wife's restored Ricardo Sport from 1976. And playing a carter crank bottom brackets are commonplace, especially directly after servicing them. And this repair is literally one anyone can do, so postponing it would be, you know, nothing short of stupid. Uh, the cups of this carter crank are fixed into the frame with the bearing racing races pointing outwards and it holds quite a number of loose ball bearings. And another cup is pressed on the massive steel spindle. Uh, the spindle itself is a threaded part with 22 millimeter nut to tighten the non dry side cup. And unlike other bottom brackets, uh, you don't have to remove the crank arm to fix the play. Even if you remove play, it can very well be that the spindle does not move freely, so it's a good thing to check the inside of your bottom bracket if you have the raw tools to do so. In my case, I'd already restored, restored this bicycle and the bike, and the bike wasn't extensively ridden under wet circumstances. So removing the cotter pin again and servicing the bottom bracket would not be necessary. Um, there's quite a bit of discussion about how much you should tighten the cup onto the bearings. And it's a trade-off, if you ask me, between minimizing play and having a smooth crank rotation. I prefer minimizing play because with the crank arms on the bottom bracket, you hardly notice the stiffness in rotation. You know, whatever you choose, tightening the cup is easy and it's up to you with the help of the information provided in this video how tight you want to go. And always do a final test actually rotating the crank and riding the bicycle. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and drop a like. If you have any questions or suggestions for new videos, leave a comment below. And you can also visit the website restoration.bike for more background information. I wish you all the best with your own bike restorations and I hope to see you on the next video. Cheers.